What's up, YouTube? This is L.R. Scott, and today we're going to be doing a part two to the, the baby thing, you know, where he scammed a YouTuber for 20K. So part two right here, we're going to react to it. And man, I just have to say, man, the baby, he just has so much aura. He has aura like Dude Dennis. He has aura like, you know, just Michael Jackson. You see how bad that sounds? You see how bad that sounds? Please stop using that word, please. I just want to prove a point. I just made a video about it on my last video. I'm tagging it. But do you see how bad that sounds? Now, let's get into the video. Please stop using that word like that. Side and some on the babies. Now, I can say after the official video has been uploaded. Oops. Let's restart. Last video, I spoke on the baby scamming YouTuber LaMite for over $20,000 nope, after I'm broke, walking bro. out of a video shoot. That story spread quickly around social media, leading to some people being on Mike's side and some on the babies. Now, I can say after the official. Honestly, if you didn't see the first video, I'm on I'm on the baby side. Like, if you want to be really honest, I'll tag that video as well in the uh, description wherever I put it. The video has been uploaded to Mike's channel, and some other facts have been presented that this was not a scam at all. It ain't much more to okay. say about it. Let's get into right. it. But before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my boy Ozzy Oz the virus. Now, y'all see all these pieces up there? You know what I'm saying he makes a lot of good art. You know I'm saying let me let me go. Aside from the video. I guess this would be in the video. Them pictures in the background, they is hard. They hard as a bitch. They hard as a bitch. Take one of these down for y'all. Now, all the pieces that you see on the wall are all my favorites, but this one right here takes... No, that bitch hard. See the detail. Tang it from... Demon. I don't watch Demon Slayer, but just that picture alone make me want to watch it. It's just color so beautifully. Demon Slayer, man, with all his wives and stuff like that. But he doesn't only have Demon Slayer art. He has a lot more other art and other pieces as well. Like JJK, Gundam, One Piece, and even Dragon Ball. And he's even introducing new collectible trading cards from all his old and new pieces. These ones that he sent me personally, I'm going to open them right now. He has these in gold and silver as well. And it's a really good cop if you want to capture some of his old and newer art. And, you know what I'm saying, it's a good collectible. So, make sure y'all go check him out, man. For the cards, make sure you go to lsdcollections.com and use my code Fargo at checkout. And for the shirts, make sure you go to virusgraphics.com and use code Ozzy Merch. Shout out to Ozzy for sponsoring the video. He's definitely vouched by me. For all y'all that have been asking about my art and where I get it from and stuff like that, it comes from him. Make sure I go cop up. Let's get into the video, man. Two days ago, to my surprise, LaMike posted the official 20v1 video featuring the baby. In LaMike's hmm. video, it's a normal 20v1. And by normal, I mean unprofessional and kinda weird. Y'all know how I feel about this genre of content, so I won't even go any further. But let's get into the most important part of the video. The I really don't watch 20v1s like that. Cause you know, it's, I don't know. If you put James Harden or uh, Gilbert Arenas on the 20v1, I might watch it. Other than that, I'm not going to click on the video on purpose unless something really catch my eye. The truth about why the baby walked off. Now, a lot of y'all may say I'm kind of late to the conclusion or whatever, but a lot of this evidence that I have right now was not there a few days ago. And I took mm. a few days off of uploading, so I wasn't even paying attention to most of the stuff on the internet. I just saw it yesterday after I got off my 50K stream, shout out to 50K, thank you all, that he uploaded this video. Like Mike uploaded his official video. So... Let's get into the facts. In the last video, I told you guys that the baby ultimately walked off because of what LaMike's friend said to him, and that's part of the truth. But what if I told you that LaMike was involved as well? Now, the video is 20 I minutes. I could believe it. At the 16-minute mark of the video, a woman, who many of you are probably familiar with after she tried to clout chase Kai Sinet last year, that gotta be the new method or something, makes her first appearance <laughs> no in myth. the video. Everything starts off normal until she says this. This is my question. Out of all the bitches that you don't smell in here, would you suck the fart out my ass? Get, get this bitch. Get, um, no, get this, <laughs> get this queen out of here, man. What? Get this queen. What you mean? Get this disrespectful ass queen out of here. You smell the Valentino, you know, baby. Come on. Get this disrespectful ass queen out of here. She Just came in here. Heart, I'm speaking for the heart. Verbally harass me. As you can see, the baby quickly dismissed her after she asked that disgusting question and she didn't want to leave. As this is going on, LaMike tries to redirect the segment but does a horrible job. Instead of just telling the girl to leave, as your guest who you paid twenty thousand dollars to requested you leave room for more questions clearly i i, I saw the clip around that already the mic he set that up so he kind of he 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 was he was a good part of pushing him out the door anyway it's almost like it was planned she told me, she told me Charlemagne a guy do that she told me Charlemagne. yeah they all do it don't play like come that, on hey. Yo, go ahead on baby. i told it was a new one i think she got it confused yeah. no i ain't go got it confused go ahead on Go ahead on, Vince. Who gonna stop me? 
Who go to? What you mean go ahead? So look, that yeah, gon' call your That's security. She got a question. pistol too. Ask, ask the reproduction That's the question you She got a pistol too. Gon' call your so she right there, he just said, ask the other question, even though he's telling her to get away. So he, he told her to say them questions anyway. That's what I was just talking about. So look, Security, we ain't got so look, time got, to so look, before the video, she said she wanted to ask you a specific question, right? It was like, if it was the she last question. She done asked me plan, the last question. If we was the last two people. No, it's just fuck that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the last <laughs> question. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? No, the questions ain't nah, over. What did you talk about? I got a vendetta. No, nah, I got a vendetta. What your ass? What did you talk about? I'm not through. One more, just one more. Go ahead. See, go ahead. and she too. Go ahead. We ain't what doing no it? more. That last question, get this disrespectful queen out of here. As a host, your guest is clearly not messing with the vibes and you're not sensing it. Continuing right. to push for someone to stay, and that's where it all went downhill. During that part, LaMike's friend was recording. The baby asked for him to delete it from his phone, and the friend continues to make jokes. And this is when the baby walks out. Damn, B. They told me to ask that question. Why would you suck the phone out of the you with this? You with this? Do what I do. I'm professional now. Fart sucker, professional fart sucker. I'm professional now. You know what I'm saying? Fart sucker, professional fart sucker. Bet you this scenario is slip, and the baby was recording him say that. The other dude would have swung already. Just nobody looks at anything from a different perspective, man. It's just no. You gotta delete, delete that. Delete this. Shit. Don't play with him. Don't delete that. Then go to the recently deleted. Delete that too. Nah, that ain't. ain't. She said we ain't, we ain't playing like that. I'm gonna delete that. You, you finna show me yourself? Yeah, delete that for ain't no I'm gonna shit. Nah, fuck no. Yo, man, you, you finna show me? Yeah. Nah, wait. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Let me no. see it. Do you have to do Take it with you, bro. You can see. No. If the baby was having a bad day and he came. Let's be honest, that story could have went a uh, whole lot different. He probably would have upped it, if you know. I can see it. I've been seeing the whole time. On yeah. Delete the whole thing. What, what you sucking for? It? What, what video? Yeah, one got me in. All these videos got them. So, to beat them all. To beat them all? Yeah. Oh. Okay, look. So, you hold on to what you got. Use it. Right. Use what you got. In all fairness, if you really think about it, the second day he walked in the door, that was basically playing with him the whole time. Because he, he kept trying to ask the girl to ask him more and more and more questions to do recording them. So it's already damn near three people pissing him off at once. So strike three. I see why he left. There's nothing really else to think about. Yo, 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 check, 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 check. At the end of the video, LaMike does a poor job of promoting the actual scam from the situation. Like, just look at this acting, bro. You good? Oh, bro. He took all my money, bro. He took $20,000, bro. That was my... Why, why? What's the point of recording this? Everybody already saw it on Instagram, everywhere else, all this, all this. Bro, we know the 20K going. If you was crying, okay, maybe you would have got away with it, but... What's the point of that's that's like the uh YK Osiris video when he was crumbling up the paper. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. YK Osiris crumbling paper. Let me see. Whoa. Maybe I can't find it, but Hold on, let me see. Curry, uh, if it don't, wait, hold on. What did that say? Okay, this might be it. Uh, yeah, it's not exactly coming up, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, I might try to find an actual clip and put it below, but let's just. Side and some on the babies. Now I can say after the official video has been uploaded. It's about right here. Yeah, delete the whole thing. Look. Skip ahead a little bit. He took first five people to oh, okay. bro. Bro. You good? Oh, bro. He took all my money, bro. He took $20,000, bro. That was my last, bro. And this bitch saw this fuck. Like, what am I? You got to cut. You got to cut up the. All right, bro. You got to cut up the video of you being sad. If I didn't. Let's say I knew no. And this is the first video of me watching this. There's a fair reality or an assumption in another reality. I would think this whole thing was just a setup for like him to get more clout. And the whole scam thing was fake and they just all set it up.
and with him recording this old trash ass video we gotta cut every five seconds because he's probably laughing what i'm supposed to do bro first five people to go to lamikecash.com and complete 20 deals i'm gonna cash up you 200 dollars on behalf of me and my team bro so keep in mind first video he just said he lost everything now is his all but now he wants you to click something which is nine times out of ten now he wants you to click something he's gonna pay you 200 dollars for it when he just gave him his all with 10k from his grandma and 10k from him but now he got another 200 dollars for everybody that do it really dude really i'm glad i'm not gonna lie. i'm glad you lost that 20k shit on that note bro i'm gone and the comments didn't help either they were completely cooking him there's a few comments saying the host is weird the vid is weird and i completely understand why the baby quote unquote walked out <laughs> he told you that he didn't want that girl there and you kept insisting bro not gonna lie you was mad annoying Real. turn this off at eight minutes presentation <laughs> whack. questions all seem made up by mike and they were corny actual worst video on this channel the youtuber himself effed up his bag you could tell he 19 let this be a lesson this video was a mess in a deleted video la mike talks about how losing the 20k made him feel that 20,000 might have not been a lot to you bro but that was a lot that was a lot to me bro this is my livelihood bro i eat off this youtube stuff bro like i have no other source of income this is all i got bro i'm 19 bro bro look do the other method i said from the last video indeed.com search up mcdonald's guaranteed you'll get a job they quit every day bro you'll run up every year bro i i got you man i'm not gonna let you go out like that if you don't work there, go to Popeyes. If you don't work there, go to Arby's. Who the fuck want to work at Arby's? Never mind, I didn't say that. Who the fuck? Arby's overnight. <laughs> Arby's overnight shit. That sounds funny as shit. I dropped out of college for this, bro. Well, you need to go back, because uh, if you're going to keep doing videos like this, you're going to lose a lot more than 20K, if you have anything more to lose. Like, bro, when you walked out, I felt, I felt worthless, bro. I texted my mom, bro. I'm gonna put this screenshot on the phone. I text in my mouth, bro. I feel like a failure. He trying, he trying his. <laughs> I see why he deleted the video. He trying his hardest to cry in this bitch. He trying his hardest. Bro, I feel like I'm men without this, bro. If I don't make it, bro, she gonna be stuck where she at, bro. I'm trying to save my mama, bro. Like real life, bro. I'm going through a lot in real life, bro. My dad died when I was three, bro. I'm trying to help my mama, bro. She been working all these jobs since she was 19, bro. She ain't been 19, single mom, bro. I'm trying to make it out, bro. I'm trying to make it out, bro. That wasn't just a bid to me, bro. That wasn't just a bid to me, bro. That wasn't just a bid to me, bro. I'm sorry, but I have zero sympathy at this point. <laughs> Put yourself in this situation by trying to get a controversial clip out of this, and your friend made it worse. I honestly thought that he barely got any footage. The baby walked on there. You got a couple clips out of it, and he just walked off. I feel like that's a scam. I'm gonna be honest because you didn't fulfill the whole duty of, you know what I'm saying, why I gave you the 20K. But you had a. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't care what he didn't fulfill. He pissed him off three times. Like Mike pissed him off, but he kept insisting to the girl that was already pissing him off, asking him. Then turn around, kind of find out, oh, it's another dude recording me. Let me try to check him to get it off. And now he's not gonna do it. And then, and then you're in a damn near standoff. So. Why do you think he left? Pissed the man off three different times in probably the span of 15 fucking minutes. Probably less. 15 minutes is generous. Probably less. Let's be real. I do not blame him for walking out. I don't blame him for walking out, bro. Like, seriously. A good enough amount of footage to create a whole 20 minute video, bro. If not, you know, for all the promos and all that stuff in there, you still had like 15 minutes in the video. So I don't have any sympathy, bro. You messed it up for yourself. Right. You live and you learn and for that i'm gonna change the title to last video because it wasn't a complete scam so i'm gonna put it in quotations if you know grammar you know what quotations do to a word as you can see the title right here there we go quotations right there you're gonna put the quotations right should i change the title on my last youtube video no i'm, I'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it because i'm just not gonna do it oops i didn't mean to mute it that you know what i'm saying just a little insight on what i do just real quick and save you know what i'm saying as someone who practices integrity i feel like this is right for all parties so let me know what y'all think about the situation in the comments la mike is a straight liar this nigga's he's completely lying like he lied about everything right like i said in my last video bro 
niggas from Louisiana do not know how to lie. But apparently, a lot of people are either stupid enough to believe, or I guess in the note, I guess a lot of people are just stupid enough to believe it to the point where you wouldn't have to become a good liar. Like, bro, you you lied on your grandma for the baby video. Who the fuck grandma watching a twenty v one? She's eighty three years the fuck old. Why would she care about that? Chance this is about a three percent chance she would care about it. The the baby alone, fine. A twenty v fucking one, bro. Who do you? Well, if he would have. Never mind, it's too late. I'm not going to defend him and give him, give him anything to come back off of. But, and I believed it for, for a slight bit, just for a slight bit until I got all these facts. You know what I'm saying? It's funny how Mike actually DM'd me and was like, yo, thank you for making this video. Thank you for spreading, you know what I'm saying, the topic around or whatever. Change the title, you know what I'm saying? Put my name in the title and stuff like that. And the whole time- Nigga still, <laughs> nigga still clock chasing until this moment. In that other video, I was deaf questioning everything he was saying. And I told him that in the DM, take it or leave it, bro. But yeah, man, let me know what y'all think. The thing is, based off what he just said right here, a lot of Mike is trying to get clout no matter how it come. If you look stupid, if you look smart, if you look like a gay, if you look straight, he don't care. He just clout chasing. And I'm pretty sure Lamike Mike is the same dude that uh, was doing those fake videos that got his cousin pregnant. Let me look it up and see real fast. Let me look it up and see. Hold on. Make sure I'm right. A lot of Mike cousin let me see cousin arch that's weird am i stupid or was that a different person uh sure yes this this right here he's that same person so just based off this style of content that he makes you can already assume that you know it's not it's not beneath him to do anything like that so it's it's whatever but like the video if you like the video subscribe if you want no pressure you know comment down below we could just talk about it if you're still on the mic side after seeing all this if you're not talk about it down below and i'll see y'all sellouts on the next one